Hello everyone and welcome to Cycling Research Reviews. This is the first episode of many in which I hope to share with you the latest in cycling research from the academic world. To do this, I will be going through a series of papers that I've become familiar throughout the course of my PhD. And in the process of making this video, I hope to also enhance my own knowledge as I found that uh, when I prepare for lectures for students, I also tend to remember more of what I read. So consider this for you, but also for me. So every time I make an episode, uh, I tend to remember a bit more as well. There are a few advantages to making videos over a text medium such as Twitter or blogs, which many other academics have been doing. In the case of Twitter, it's rather shortened and stunted, uh, a limit of 260 characters. If you want to go longer into a blog, um, well, an academic paper is only 8,000 words, so why not read the original thing right there? What I think remains unexplored is the audiovisual medium, uh, a medium that's more interactive, uh, kind of like the lectures I do with my students, and is being increasingly uh, free and easy to access with better technology. So I thought, you know, I might as well give it a try. So this is really directed at a general audience of the public or policymakers. And uh, I hope that you will visit the original sources as we go through these papers as well. I've only included um, academic papers that are either open access or that I've found a link to an open access repository. The objective of these reviews is not to be critical. Uh, we <laughs> academics do that enough, uh, reviewing each other's papers. But rather, I'm just hoping to share with you, to the best of my ability, what I understand from my readings and what my key takeaways are. And to my fellow academics, I hope that I've represented what you've written uh, in a way that's uh, accurate and faithful to that piece of writing. Of course, I may have misinterpreted or just plain wrong. Uh, and if you do find errors in my videos, I invite you to comment below and start a conversation. It is through this conversation that I hope to advance this dialogue that many of us are wanting to have with the general public, uh, as more and more countries see the value of bringing cycling and other forms of active transportation to their cities. And on a final note, uh, I'm not quite sure where the series will take us. Uh, my personal goal is to just take it one paper at a time and try and distill what I learned from each paper. Uh, I don't have a length of mind or, or a structure, so we'll see how this plays out. But I think the main thing here is to get information packages in a way that's uh, easily understood without losing the complexity and the nuances and the arguments. I hope that you'll join me for this journey of learning to discover more about cycling and why cycling works in some places better than others. I don't have all the answers, but there are many smart scientists that do. I look forward to taking this journey of learning with you. And through this journey, hopefully we can make our cities and our world a better place at the end. So I'll see you guys next week.